Hello everyone! Today we're going to be making this birthday card, so let's get started. Alright, so I'm using a mix of um, Stampin' Up! stuff and Michael's stuff today, and I hope you all don't mind. This is a piece of Michael's paper. You can see there's some texture to it. It's almost like, I don't know, linen or it almost looks like fabric and I loved it so I got some and I like using it they have real pretty colors and so this is what we're doing <laughs> okay so this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter um, we've got another piece of white and it's also a Michael's piece it comes in that same packet this one is uh, three and a half by four and three quarters and I took a, another piece and I ran it through my Framelits Labels collection. I used this one and I actually already stamped the image down and did a faux stitch with it. And I'll, I'll explain that in a moment. But I used uh, this, I believe this is the second smallest Framelit and just cut that out. And I also used some Floral District. You know, I did use Stampin' Up! like I told you before. Um, these are two, these are actually the same paper, but we're, we're going with the bigger one on this side and the smaller one on this side. And I believe these would be the third and fourth largest or smallest framelits. And just run those through your Big Shot or your Cricut, I mean your um, Cuddlebug, whatever you have, and cut those out. I used another piece of Floral District. DSP from Stampin' Up. This is cut at half an inch by five and a half. And then I already adhered these because, like I said, it would take me a little while, so I just went ahead and did it. All right, so for the front of your card, where and it's you're going to line it up from the bottom to uh, your score line. These are cut at three quarters by four and a quarter. You do three pieces of the floral district. And what I did was I'll show you. All right, so you take your grid paper or ruler or whatever you prefer, and this one you're going to put in, you're going to adhere it one inch from the side. This one you are going to adhere it two and three eighths, between two and three eighths and three and an eighth. And then this one another inch from this side, which ends up being at four and a half. Okay? I hope I explained that all right, but I just took it and I lined it up on my grid. Well, I lined it up on this at the bottom, and I have, um, I'm sure some of you have one of these. There's like a little ruler mark down here, and that's how I line mine up. Okay? Then, what you're going to do is taking your scallop trim border punch, and actually, when I made this one, I used a different punch. It's no longer available, so I decided for the benefit of this video I would use the scallop trim border punch instead all right so and you want to adhere these before you do the punching at the edge and I always start by looking at the back of my punch punch it out but I probably will yeah I have a little wonky it's a little wonky right there but I notice it I'm sure there will be other people who notice it but um you know, I made the card for you, so appreciate that. <laughs> We're also going to use a piece of Perfect Plum Taffeta Ribbon. Take your score line and fold it. Okay, and I'm also using some retired, well, a retired item today. Um, it's one of my favorite stamp sets, I really wish they'd bring it back because I really love the sentiments in it, um, but it's the On Your Birthday stamp set, which I love, love, love. So it looks like this. I'm using this stamp and this stamp. So the On Your Birthday and the Live, Laugh, and Love Happy Birthday stamp. Okay, and when you get it done, it'll look like that. What I told you before was that I already stamped down the on your birthday um, onto this piece and then I also did a faux stitch and I don't know how well you can see that I'm 
trying to block the sun, the sun, well, the lamp a little bit, but um, I used Marina Mist and Wisteria Wonder, uh, the Stampin' Write markers, and I just alternated them. Um, I just alternated it, and it took took a little while because <clears throat> I did one by one by one by one. So I would do. Let's see, we're looking at okay, purple, the Wisteria Wonder. Marina Mist, Wisteria Wonder, Marina Mist, and that's how I did it, just all the way around. And then for the stamp, I rock and rolled it. Um, I got it inked up nicely with the Marina Mist, and then I rock and rolled it in the Wisteria Wonder. So what I did was just inked it up really well in the Marina Mist, and then I rock and rolled it in the Wisteria Wonder and stamped the image down, and that's what we got. You can barely tell but it does have that two-tone effect, which is one of my favorite things. All right, and then what we're gonna do is just adhere the white piece to the smaller of the two floral district pieces, this one. There you go. And you're gonna attach it to the bigger of the two floral district pieces. Okay. Like that. And you're going to use some dimensionals to attach this whole piece to the front of the card. Just like that. Now I am using one of these little flowers that I got from Michaels a while ago. You can make flowers using punches from Stampin' Up! or whatever you've got, but these are, it, they come in a packet. Okay, just adhere it down. All right, now to the inside. So you're gonna take that half inch by five and a half inch piece of Floral District and run some, some snail or um, whatever kind of adhesive you like across the length of it. And just take it and put it all the way to the bottom. That way it'll be sort of, oops, that's a little short, but oh well, it'll be sort of peeking out from the scallops. See? Gorgeous. Okay. And then you're going to take that piece of the white um, cardstock, whatever you, I mean, you can use Whisper White from Stampin' Up! You can Add some texture to it if you want to by running it through any kind of any embossing folder and through your big shot. So I'm going to use that Live Laugh Love Happy Birthday stamp. And this is where I'm going to show you with the rock and roll technique. You're going to ink it up really well in the marina mist and then just rock and roll it in the um, Wisteria Wonder. There you go. And adhere it to the inside of your card. There you go. Perfect. There it is. It's real simple. And I hope you all enjoyed it. Until next time, happy stamping.